All right, so before, if there was air in this system, there was no way to really burp it out other than using the little adapter that goes to this or bleed it from here. The problem is, is this doesn't really allow you unless you've got this vacuum system. So what this will do is now I've got, you know, a quart or a little better than a quart of fluid ready for the pump that's down below. And then when I want to increase the capacity of this by either adding a tank in the back or a larger intercooler, um, then it's really easy for me to bleed the system and refill it. Um, and then I can always see if my level here um, is low, not that it goes anywhere, um, but this way I can easily check it while at the track. And um, this will expand as the coolant gets hotter and this is good for 16 PSI. So this is actually the coolant co uh, coolant tank for an 03 Cobra Mustang for its supercharger system. And it just happens to have the three quarter inch fittings that seem to work perfect with my bracket. This is so I can put the extra reservoir on the supercharger cooling system. Cardboard template. And the template goes right here using these two existing bolts. And then now I'll use this drill two bolts here and then this reservoir will mount to this this is three eighths thick so I can just drill and tap this and put the bolts right in and then this line will go straight to here and then that way the supercharger will discharge into this this will have a about a quart of extra fluid but it'll allow me to make sure that there's no air in the system whatsoever and I can't just guess where my holes are right here so I put the frog tape down and I can see where the holes are. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna locate this bracket where it's gonna go, this outline. Follow the circle. Follow my outline. Or it would come straight out of the supercharger and had this little check valve. And the only way you could get air out of the system was to have an adapter and a big funnel. Well, this way, it's discharging from the supercharger in here. That'll take the air out. And then the, super, the pump port is down below. And it'll have, it'll have a good bit of fluid. So it's not getting air in it. All right, well, we just got finished installing the supercharger reservoir. And now I'm looking at what can I do to move more air out from underneath the hood. Now, what I recognized is, you know, when you first get this car, they tell you this little rain deal here. They have a little block off panel to let the rain not drip down into the engine. Well, that's not really a consideration of mine. What I did notice is on the GT4.R Camaro, the Pratt & Miller car, is that they don't run this, but they do have to run the stock aluminum hood and the stock scoop. And what they had was mounts that went across 
to lower the scoop. Now, when I remove this, let's take a look at how much airflow that's actually blocking. The reason I bring this up is because the GT4 spec Camaro uses the exact same front arrow. The car is filthy. Very, very similar dive planes in the front end, same lower splitter. It, of course, their car, the whole front end is carbon fiber and it's on by Zeus fasteners. In the front end department, Pratt & Miller designed the car with the stock ZL1 1LE front end. That's considerable considering that they're putting a big massive wing on the rear of the car. So to balance that airflow, you have to release more of the air that goes through the front end out through the top of the car instead of underneath the car. To do that, you have to open the hood more. Well, let's take a look at that. Here we are with that underhood liner removed. Look at the massive amount of space that we have now to get heat out from under the hood of the car. And what they did is they run a support that goes from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, supporting the front end of this carbon fiber. And yes, it's a true carbon fiber. So what I'm thinking about doing is adding a brace that goes across here that ties these points in together so that I can utilize all of that. all of that airflow. When you talk about free horsepower, here you go. We're freeing it up. Let the tack coat get a little wet. This is the weather deflector. <laughs> this originally laid in here like this. So the only airflow you could get out of the hood scoop was just through these two small ducts. Now, these make a big enough difference that they have a rain guard that keeps rain water from getting into your car. But I was looking online at the Camaro ZL11LE GT4 our car that's built by Pratt and Miller for racing teams. And while it has a much larger rear wing, it didn't have any real changes to the front end. Yeah, of course the bumper was made out of carbon fiber versus the plastic. Um, it did not have the impact absorber. There's a few minor differences, but the architecture of the front end was almost identical including the dive planes and the front splitter that come from the factory. Part of the rules is that you have to use the original aluminum hood and the carbon fiber insert. It says ZL1. Only the ZL11 LEs have the carbon fiber insert. Now, that's true carbon. You can see the weave through and through. It's not an overlay. It's a true carbon part. Unlike the ZL1s, which is just a plastic. I'll be testing this this weekend. Um, heading back out towards the um, Cherahola Skyway into the mountains, um, meeting up with my friends there. And uh, we'll see the differences in both the manifold temperature and the performance of the car. And I'm definitely believing that I'll hear a lot more supercharger whine without that um, metal panel in place to block the noise. And that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty much a free mod. This is just aluminum strips that I made. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll make these for anybody else. It was kind of time consuming, but if I can find a way to mass produce these and make these quicker, um, I'll do it. I just wrapped up my new heat exchanger uh, coolant tank for the supercharger. So now I can 
keep an eye on the coolant level for that. It adds two quarts to the system. And that's actually a 2003 Cobra Mustang uh, supercharger coolant tank. Um, and it works out great. It's easy to install. Literally two hoses, this, and a custom bracket that I used existing fasteners to mount. But that's what I've done lately on the Camaro. You guys have a great time. Thanks for joining my channel. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see all the next things that I do.